What we have here is Allen Bradley 1200. Uh, it's a 2711-TC4 Series F Rev C. The firmware is 5.11.00. We're going to do L an LCD retrofit with it with a Monotech uh, LCD upgrade kit. We have two units here. Uh, they're identical. We're going to walk through it. Um, first thing, when you order the Monotech monitor, first thing you have to do is tell me what Tell us which video connector is being used. And we'll just open this one up. Take two, those two screws out. And you'll see this connector here. That's one version. And the other version has a blue connector on this side over here. That's all we're asking. So you, tell us you have a panel view 1200. And which video connector is it? That one or this one? All right. So uh, we're going to take it a little bit apart a little bit more. And... Um, um, Well, through this video we're going to stop a little bit so you don't have to watch me unscrew all these screws and uh, we'll try to fast forward a little bit so you're not sitting here forever. So uh, we're going to... Okay, we've removed these screws, we've had to come down and we've identified what video connector it is. Then we've gone and we've removed all the screws on the back cover so it's removed like that. And we've removed every single screw that we could find on the outside of the case. And that's that stage. Uh, then we move over to this next one. Uh, we've removed a couple more parts. We've removed the video. Uh, this one has a touch screen. Uh, to remove the touch screen, you squeeze these two sides together and this slide pops up. And then the touch screen cable slides out just like that. Uh, the video cable just pops off and the power cable over here pops off. And we remove the screw that held the ground cable on. Uh, to remove the plastic pieces on here, you just use a pair of pliers and squeeze it. Um, this is your... You just squeeze it and it just pops right off. And go to the back cover. The back cover we have uh, the cable for the fan. And there's also a ground strap that we removed. And now we can take that, put that out of our way. And now we go to the next level. Okay, we're at the next stage. Uh, we removed the computer board, we removed the back panel, and it goes off to the side, and we removed any other screws. We pretty much have to strip this unit right down. So we have uh, the monitor uh, driver board is loose. Uh, we still have to disconnect this um, the neck board here. Uh, some of these are, are secured in with a locking so you just rotate that yellow weight ever so slightly. Yeah, it's a little tough. And then uh, wiggle it and this board will come off. Uh, break, it's so old and brittle. It's like locking, locking part just broke right off right there. Uh, it doesn't matter because you're not going to keep that part anyways. And you need to disconnect. There's reaching the dirty unit. And here's the, this is the yoke on the CRT, and uh, we just removed this cable here from the board just by grabbing it and wiggling it, and it'll pop right off. There's your connector. Okay, um, now go to the front. On this particular, there's a couple different versions, but on this particular unit, uh, there's two ways to remove the, the CRT. Uh, this one way, we re removed. There's a six or three screws here, three screws down here, three screws on the other side, and then we removed the front bezel that had the the, seat, the touch screen on, and we take that and put it over there. And uh, on this version over here, we did exactly the same thing, except instead of removing these screws here, uh, because we dismantled the whole unit, uh, we're able to reach these screws here, uh, which were. Um, right here, uh, we're able to pull the whole bezel off with touchscreen, and so that's done. What we're trying to reach is access these screws right here, so we can remove the CRT. Okay, on the next stage, we're gonna completely remove the electronics in the CRT and only have the metal frame left over. Okay. Okay, we removed the CRT. Um, just a, a simple nut driver. We also had a little bit of trouble with the, a screw in here. We had just had to loosen off the screw a little bit to 
pulse of the CRT had more clearance to come up. Come out. Uh, now, some people are concerned about the high voltage in one of these CRTs. For color monitors, the the high voltage gets drained right away, so you don't have to worry about it. For monochrome, though, however, it, it the charge does uh, stay in there for a couple hours. If you're ever concerned, this is the process for discharging the CRT. So obviously the unit's turned on. So while this the color unit has 26,000 volts in it, uh, the monochrome has around uh, um, around 18,000 volts. So make sure the power's off before you do this, and you just short it to ground, be there or there, and you just click them together like this, and it'll short to ground. So this, there's no spark or anything going on here, uh, and so you just take your, you lift up the flap, and you grab, just twist, push the metal down, and it's a little, a little piece of, two pieces of metal there that hold it in, in place, and that's, that's that. And we disconnected the yoke plug already. And the next thing we have is a DAG spring. I usually don't like to clip things while I take it apart, just in case I put it back together. But in this case, I'm not going to keep it back together, so I'm just going to clip that so I can pull the CRT out of there. And uh, dispose of it correctly. Um, and I've got another unit over here. We have it all ripped apart. These are, these are the pieces you're keeping. Uh, so you have a power supply board, you have your two CRT brackets that you're going to mount the LCD to, you have your computer board, your back panel with the fan, your front panel with the touch screen, and your main cover. You're going to be you're getting rid of the, the entire board that get, is scrapped and the CRT is scrapped as well. And now the next step is to put the LCD in. So this is the front bezel with the touchscreen on it. We has this really oil-soaked, gross kind of foam on it. You got to take off. Um, you can use your fingers and pull it all out. Of. But the, what you don't want is to get the stuff all over the touchscreen because you have to clean the touchscreen all off. So just using a little knife here to bit by bit take it off. And uh, the touchscreen, the back of the touchscreen is glass. It, there's no electronic parts to it, so you don't have to worry about cutting it into anything. So I just take a knife and take any excess goop off. So we've attached uh, two different methods for attaching the LCD screen. Uh, this one we've attached it from the front, where we removed the CRT, obviously, and we we mounted the LCD to the exact same spots that the CRT used to be. We're positioning the LCD so that the the screen is is level with the with the outer panel. So when we put the touch screen on, it'll sit right up close. Mm -hmm. So when you get to this point, uh, you want to remove your protective screen. You want your touch screen wires to slide through that little hole there, and just a couple guide holes underneath, and then we'll just slide on just like that. And now we put the screws on underneath and it's all sealed together. Now the other technique, where we had the front bezel still attached, uh, we removed these brackets off and we've mounted it to the LCD and then we slid it in, mounted it in place, pushed it down as far as we could, tightened the screws up, touch screen's already in place so we didn't take it off, and it's all set, ready to go. Now we're going to put this back into everything and uh, we'll take some more videos as we go along. Okay, we're just going to prep the power cable that's here. So we're using uh, just flat connectors to crimp them on. So we pre-stripped all the wires. You got your simple crimp crimpers and just crimp it on. Give it a little tug. It's good. Match the colors, blue to blue. Can't go wrong.
the ground we want to keep that in there because we ground the chassis as well so we're going to put that in there too just place it together And there we go, we, we just prepped the uh, power cable. Pretty straightforward, no soldering, power cable's all set, ready to go. Okay, we've connected some of the wires already. Um, we got uh, some silicone, we've mounted the power supply to the side, but sometimes it's just not quite secure, so we just put a whole bunch of silicone in there just to secure it long term. And we have the power, the power from the power. Okay, we've connected some of the wires already. Um, we got uh, some silicone. We've mounted the power supply to the side, but sometimes it's just not quite secure. So we just put a whole bunch of silicone in there just to secure it long term. And we have the power, the power from the power supply goes into the power of the monitor. We have the video cable that plugs into here, then goes into the computer board. And we also have the power up here coming from here on that cable that we've done and powers that power supply. And I'll just go over to the other one and I'll show you where some of this connects. So we started with the power, power supply. You get your 12 volts. You have your video cable. Now it's this might look like a standard video cable, but it's not. It's a custom cable that we've done here. If you try to use a standard cable from the source or anywhere else, the, it, it will blow up your monitor. So make sure you use the one that's provided by Monotech. Uh, this connector goes back to here. And this is the power that powers the, the computer board. And we have another cable here. And this plugs in like so. This ground, I'll put it on after, but it goes up here. And plug that in over here. And then we'll dress up the cables with some twist, some um, tie wraps. And um, this ground over here, we're going to put uh, we're going to add a screw over to the corner here and and screw nut and washer mounted to the side and then we're almost ready to turn this thing on okay now it comes with the final test we put, push the computer board up uh, we're not going to mount the back panel yet because we want to test the monitor before we assemble everything uh, so we're going to just attach a normal power cable uh, to just a normal power cable to a power bar and now you're you're labeled on here where which wire you have line neutral ground. Your ground is your green or yellow, and then your line and neutral for what you're doing. It, it doesn't matter which one goes line or neutral um, for the machine. It, it's, it would be important to have it right. But it, just so you got your ground, line and neutral. Uh, small little screw, flat screwdriver, tighten it right up, and uh, it's nice and secure. It's not going to fall out on you. Uh, for this controller, you need to have the you have to have the the fan plugged in. Now there's another spot in here that is looks like it, the fan would plug plug in there, but don't plug your fan in there because it'll blow it up. Uh, so that's the only spot you plug your fan into. You attach your ground strap, and we're just going to put it down like this, and nice and secure. Don't want cables to fall off. Turn it off to the other side. And turn on your power bar, and you'll see everything come, something come on the screen. It takes a few 
seconds for it to come up on the screen. So this LCD from Monotech is, uh, has a one-year warranty. Um, usually they have them in stock, so you don't have to ship your controller back anywhere. Uh, the next thing you need to do, in this case it's positioned properly, but uh, you reach, that, reach around back and you press the, the plus and you do an auto adjust. And then it just goes into this, lines up perfectly on the screen. And that's it. Uh, we just put the cover on, send this back to the customer, and he's back, the machine is up and running. And if you have any more questions, www.monotech.com.